How are you doing today? It's so crazy. Um, seeing my background with nothing here. I need to figure out. Um, dang, my bra, my bra strap want to be so tacky right now. Um, dang, why I want to be tacky? But anyway, how are y'all doing? Um, it's so weird seeing the blank background. I got to figure out what I'm going to put there. But I don't know. I don't know. So it is Monday. Uh, I might be. Um, I know I got to leave at like 515 to go pick up my guy's son. And I wanted to go um, take an early day, like make today an early day. But I doubt it. Um. I'll probably go pick him up, drop him off, and then come back and do some work before I go to bed. So I think this is like the best time. Um, my godson knocked down. Um, he knocked down one of the um, like the wall thing. Like he knocked it down, and then I couldn't put it back up. Like I, I need like a screw, so I just took him down because I wanted something different anyway. So he just basically sped up the process. Um. How is everyone doing? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Um, Y'all know I say hey overall before we get into it. Um, Let me start off with the positive. So the positive is we had an amazing show, okay? The contestants was amazing. The judges was amazing. Everything was amazing. Um, there was some hiccups, but there's always hiccups. But overall, um, hey, Purple Beach, he really do. And I'm, let me tell you about his first day before we get into everything. So Riley calls me, and she's like, uh, and she's like, why did he walk away from me? Like he didn't even know who I was. I said, what? She said, yeah. He literally walked away from me. Like he didn't even look back. He didn't even say bye. He didn't, he didn't do any, like he didn't even care. He was trying to get in there to go play. He wanted to go play with the other kids. So this is more of a transition for her than him. But I told her, I said, you have raised him to be very independent. He's a very independent two-year-old. Like he's very determined. He's very focused. He's two. And so today was his first day of daycare. And I say, you know him. Like, he's like, you know? So if, if it's a woman, oh, let it be a woman. He's all in. So it was, it was very hard for her <laughs> that he basically didn't even turn around to say bye. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm going to be very honest. So... 
the most, the most thing, the most, the biggest feeling that I have is of gratitude. I have a feeling of gratitude because a lot of times when I come down here to like on live, I always feel sometimes I'd be feeling like I'm not appreciative, appreciated. And, and I, and yesterday really showed me that my set arrives for me and I arrive for y'all honestly and truly. I honestly, I, I felt like a proud mama yesterday. Um, we didn't have a thousand in the chat. We did not have a thousand in the chat. Um, but I didn't even care about how many people we had. In fact, I really didn't even notice. I really didn't care. I wasn't even thinking about the, the amount of people that we had. And I feel like it was a full circle moment for me and Lovely Love because y'all know me and Lovely Love has had a history of um, fighting and arguing and all of that, like me dragging her food, me reviewing her food reviews. And for me to be the reason that puts her back on her game of, of not only giving her the biggest cash prize um, of any sector, but it it dealt with the matter at hand of us arguing. So I really hope that pushes lovely love to continue her journey of cooking and all of those good things. And I was glad that I was able to put a smile on Lovely Love's face. I'm glad that I was able to do that. She and she had been talking about it all week. Like, Bri, I'm coming to your competition. Bri, I'm coming to your competition. And so for Lovely Love to be at my competition, and it was, it was that was amazing, right? Uppity, um, Uppity coming, putting aside her differences and doing that for me. I I am forever grateful for that. Um, LG coming. Grateful for her. Anything is grateful for her. I am grateful for everybody's participation, my judges. So here's the here's the way that I like to run my competition. Um Lady Law won the first competition. So I felt like since Lady Law won, she needed to be a judge. So since Lovely Love won this competition, I feel like it's only fair that Lovely Love is a judge. I've already invited um, um, Uppity to be a judge. She said yes. So I'm going to invite Lovely Love. Hopefully Lovely Love says yes. Um, I know ODS is tired of me using him, so I need to find another person to be a judge for um, to put ODS spot. I... I love my judges. I love how my judges communicated. I love the, the way that they discussed amongst each other. I really couldn't have asked for a better set of judges. Chat rep gagged me as a judge. One thing I noticed about chat rep is she has an eye for details. And it's kind of crazy because she doesn't put that same effort into her own food. So I I don't know. Like I was gagged at her articulation. Like, I was gagged, like, of her professional manner. Like, if I had to say, no, Lady Mika, because you, girl, Lady Mika, don't do me, because you, I asked you to be a judge, and you told me no, so don't do that. Don't do that. But, Lady Mika, if you if you going to be a judge, I would love for you to be a judge. I would love for you to be a judge, Lady Mika. So... Um, yes, she is. When I tell you that girl was so detailed yesterday, she, I was astonished at how detailed she was. And I feel like she was very fair. I feel like she was very fair. The chat participation was amazing. You, you want me to go pull up the text messages where you told me you couldn't do it? Because Lady Nika, don't make me pull out the text messages and put them on the community wall. Don't make me do it. Hey, Miss Brenda. Hey, keeping it real. So, no, you wasn't fired, but I don't want you. No, 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 you was not fired. I didn't want it to be like every time I do a competition, I just lean on you, lean on you, lean on you. So, if you if you want to be a, a judge, because you know, in every cooking, in every competition, they do have a permanent judge. So, OD, I can have four judges. So, you let me know. Now, here's the thing. So, 
overall, I think the lesson that I've learned is perseverance, is perseverance, right? And one thing I noticed is that every time we have challenges, we're like, fuck it, I'm not gonna do it, I'm not gonna do it, I'm not gonna do it. But you wanna be a host? Oh, okay, yes, let's be a co-host. Okay, co-host, yes. So listen. Key Roman News is actually going to be in the competition. He hit me up yesterday and told me he's going to be in the competition. So there's that. He told me I can't quit. <laughs> I said, what? <laughs> I read it. I'm like, what? what you mean? I can't quit. <laughs> um, every time we have a competition, we're like, fuck it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. But here's the thing. The reason why I was going to quit is because everybody fell out. Like, I don't know. I haven't even thought of it yet. I know it's going to be probably in April. In April. April or something. I haven't thought of it yet. I haven't thought of the ingredients. I haven't thought of everything. I just know that we're going to do it again because clearly y'all want me to do it again. So we're going to do it again. Um... I'm trying to figure out where I want to go with this. Because I, I still want... What I... All right. So, like I said on ODS, people were so upset about the money. And I really want to talk about the money because... I, <clears throat> I want to say this in a way that's so nice, but not rude. But I think I really have to just be rude when I say this. I honestly don't give a fuck about nobody's opinion about how I divvied up the money. I don't. Um, because number one, I'm very gracious. For everybody that contributed to that pot, I am very gracious, right? I am so appreciative that people trust me with their money. They know that I'm going to do the right thing with their money. And I don't play with nobody's money. I don't play with people's money. I do not play with people's money. If you tell me, give the money to the pot, I gave the money to the pot. On top of that, not only did I give the money to the pot, any dollar that came into me, People was cash after me saying, this is for you. And I would go back to them and I'd say, hey, do you mind if I put this in the pot? Any dollar that came to me went to that pot. Because yesterday, I said I was giving back to Pettyville, and that's what I did. On top of giving back to Pettyville, I was obedient. You have to be obedient. In life, you have to be obedient. And whenever I have not been obedient in life, I swear to God, it's always back bit me in my ass. And everything, every Every dollar that I got yesterday went to y'all. It went back to the people who showed up for me, who showed up for me. Mind you, people want to spin this narrative that Pizarro is jealous, Pizarro is this, Pizarro is that. No. Pizarro was one of the first people that I told. Actually, the first person I told was Riley and ODS. Let's talk about how um, Kimmy Creations even came about. The person told me not to mention who they are, so I'm not going to do it. And matter of fact, this person, let's let's just talk about how God moves. This person doesn't have any affiliation with Kimmy Creations. None at all. None at all. They don't have, from what I know, this is not somebody who's connected to them. No, this person saw, this person recently, matter of fact, recently subscribed to me. This person recently subscribed to me, seeing what happened, and was like, what about Kimmy Creations? And so then they went and they reached out to her. They just, by chance, reached out to her. And Kimmy then said, yes, what is the time zone? Came through. So the first person I told was rallying ODS. ODS was like, don't tell nobody. And I was like, I wasn't going to tell nobody because I didn't know if it was for sure or not. Like, I was nervous the whole time. So, 
Then I told Pizarro. I told Pizarro when she was on her live and Pizarro was gay. Pizarro was like, what? What? Like Pizarro was screaming. Listen, there's no way, I, there's no way, shape or form that y'all ever going to put out a narrative or make me believe that Pizarro is jealous of me because I was able to have somebody on my platform. Like James say and like Lady Nika say, when when one of us win, we all win. It puts a spotlight on all of us. So I'm glad that I was able to share that moment with everybody. Everybody that was on my panel, everybody that came through. And I'm also glad because the people that were supposed to be there to witness that moment was there. The people who dropped out, that was on them. Period. And I wasn't going to go tell them, oh, this person could be coming, possibly coming. No, because guess what? If your heart wasn't in the right place, you shouldn't have been there. So when people come to me like, oh, you're being biased towards uppity, you're being biased towards uppity. No, I'm not being biased towards uppity. I felt like uppity deserved to get some money. I asked Kimmy, how does she feel about it? And she was okay with it. So when all these people are throwing their opinions, throwing their opinions, throwing their opinions, throwing their opinions, the money that y'all gave me was already accounted for. It was split the way it was supposed to be split. The money that y'all gave me was always 75% to 25%. It's always been that way, right? So when Kimmy came and said she's going to give an extra thousand, why wouldn't I allow everybody to be blessed by that? I feel like everybody should have been blessed by that because Uppity put her Uppity putting her differences to the side, even though she already knew, she felt in her soul that she was going to be eliminated first, right? And she still came and did the competition, right? Uppity came through when she when she really didn't even want to. She really didn't do it, but she knew my feelings was hurt, so she came through for me. I don't know why they're calling me while I'm on lunch, because I'm not answering the phone. So she came through for me. Secondly, secondly, LG deserved to get something. And the first and second prize winner, the first person winner got the most, second prize got the second most. And everybody's so mad at questioning my breakdown. Did they get their money? Did they get paid? And guess what? I don't see no contestant mad or upset about the money that they got. I think everybody's happy about the money that they got and that they was able to get money because guess what? Everybody, hopefully, the money that I pro that gave them, they was able to get their groceries that they, that they paid back plus some. And then ODS, for me, had the perfect ideology. He was able to sit on the platform with somebody who has a million plus subscribers on TikTok and Instagram. Like that is a, like her, her platform is huge. And then also Kimmy had the right, had the right mindset just as a human being of I'm a bigger content creator. And I'm going to go sit on these people platform and support these people platform that is smaller than me. And I'm going to give back to them because I was a smaller content creator at some time. So I feel like everybody's, everybody's mindset, everybody's energy was in the right place. And we had a beautiful competition. And it actually surprised myself of how good it was. And then people are saying, should we change who we are? Should we change who we are? No, I will never change who I am. I don't change who I am when I'm at work. Meaning like I'm going to be more, you know, livable, more lovable, you know, more like business professional. But to the core, I'm going to be who I am. I'm never going to reduce myself to fit anywhere. I'm not going to do it. The only thing that I'm trying to reduce is my weight on the scale. OK, that's that's the only thing I'm trying to reduce, but reducing my personality, reduce who I am, reduce how I am. I'm not doing that because you're going to take me or leave me. You're going to see the light in me or you don't. If you don't see my light, that means my light doesn't identify with your light. But clearly, it's somebody out there. It's people out there who believe in me that I, in ways that I don't even foresee it. So who who are I to be to change who I am when that's what got me in the position in the, in the trajectory in which I'm going? So. All And all in all, I was happy that I was able to do something positive for the beef sector in a way that I didn't even imagine. And I'm glad that we was able to give back to people in the way that we didn't imagine. And then people, let's talk about lovely love for a second. We all know that lovely love is going through something, right? And for lovely love to be able to be blessed in that manner, knowing that She's going through something and she was blessed in a way and something that she loves that connects to her. So if you look through it on the on a deeper level, on a spiritual level, 
this was the way that it was supposed to be and it went down the way that it was supposed to be. Also, I want to talk about how this was the most successful pot-wise, right? If we're going to talk about pot-wise, this was the most successful competition and it didn't have all that drama. It didn't have all that fallout. Have, have you noticed? Like, the drama that we have is so minuscule. <laughs> we don't even have a lot of drama. It's not a lot of arguing. It's not a lot of fussing. It's not a lot of fighting. People are setting their opinions. People are saying this. People are saying that. But it's no hair pulling. Nobody's tussling in the grass. All the fighting that was done yesterday had nothing to do with the competition. And boy, was it a lot of fighting. It was so listen, it was so much negativity that I really couldn't even stay and watch it. If you want me to be honest with you, I literally had to remove myself from it. I was like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, but. Black Polly, that was a nice way of saying that. Who was fighting? Lovely love, Jay Dunn. Did y'all see Jay? It was a knockout drag out yesterday. Are you kidding me? Where was your what? And then it went over the um to Yaya. So now we're gonna talk about uh each round and what I thought because. As you know, I'm not able to give my thoughts and opinions during the competition, which I find is so funny that people be thinking that I'm biased. How am I biased? When, hold up, wait, when in the first competition that I thrown, I felt like Uppity should have went the first round. I told Uppity that to her face. I said, Uppity, I feel like you should have been eliminated the first round. I don't know how Uppity made it to the third round in the first competition. I told up that to her face. So I just find it so funny when people be trying to tell me that I'm biased. People were trying to tell me that I was rude. Who was I rude to? I wasn't rude to anybody. I feel like when you set boundaries and you state what's going to happen and what's not going to happen, people are not used to it. They feel like you should just shut up and listen to what they got to say. I wasn't rude to not one soul. Who was I rude to? Who was I disrespectful to? I didn't disrespect anybody. People want to... Because the thing is... Got to understand, people literally text me, they're texting me, they're Instagramming me, they're writing me on YouTube, I'm hearing what they got to say. It's a lot, people, it's, it's 900 people talking to you at one time. And you got to tell people to back up, respect my decision, right? Because my thing is, when it, if it comes to money, I don't ever be telling y'all what y'all should do with it, how it should be done, whatever it's done. Once you say what it is, that's it. That's it. So people telling me I was extremely rude. How was I rude? Tell me what I did rude. Who do I cuss? Oh, oh I cuss. No, no, no. You're going to respect my opinion. You're going to respect my opinion. And if you don't respect it, oh, well, say it somewhere else. Don't say it to me. I don't want to hear that. People said I cuss Yaya. I was nasty to Yaya. Was I nasty to Yaya? I did Yaya say that she had questions for me. And I said, you can have questions, but you might not like my answer. That's what I said. Oh, well, then it wasn't a competition. How was it not a competition? Because everybody got something. Do, lovely love is not even upset. I can see if lovely love was pissed at the $1,300. Hold on. <laughs> I can see if lovely love was upset. But if I would have been in a competition... And then I would have received $1,300. I wouldn't have gave a fuck what another bitch got. $1,300? Do you know what I could do with $1,300 right now? Give me $1,300 and, and let me show you what I can do with it. It's a purse I want right now. The purse I want right now is $600. Give it to me. Are you kidding me? Now, I'm going to break down each round. And then I'm going to drop the link. Well, it was. It was $1,350. But you know what I'm saying? Give me $1,300. And let me show you something. 
and I'm and I'm and I'm and I'm gonna show you what and I'm gonna show you what I could do with it. Lovely love was so motherfucking happy. Lovely, lovely love was giving money out yesterday. Everybody was happy, but the people who joined the competition. Ness can't even find drama. Ness trying so hard to find something negative to say. All Ness can say is she is she can talk to someone. Well, well, what about the pot? Well, what about the pot? <laughs> Well, what about how the pot was split up? Ness, shut, shut the fuck up, Ness. Did everybody get their money the same day? Worry about that, Ness. Let's worry about that. <laughs> um, girl, you better buy. No, mm -mm. I want a six hundred dollar purse with with twelve thousand dollars in it. That's what I want. Uh, hey, mob ties. Hey, boo. Now, we're going to break down each round, and I'm going to tell you what I think. And I'm going to give critiques on everybody in each round and what I would have possibly done. So I do think that as each competition goes, people are going to learn, like, what they can do, right? So prep is, prep is everything. I think prep is essential. And knowing the different ingredients is definitely essential. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, because I'm on break. I'm not even, actually, I'm not even at work. Hold on.
Yeah, I don't even know what child they calling me. I'm trying. I'm not even. I'm off. I got off at three, so I don't even know what they calling me about. Then I try to go answer the phone, and they won't even answer the phone. Like what? Like that's weird. Okay, so let's break. Go through each round. Um. Um, the first round you had uppity in her pinwheel. Um, um, uppity in her pinwheels. Uh, LG her pizza. Lovely love. Oh, what did lovely love make? What did Lovely Love make in the first round? Something with shrimp. Oh, the, the shrimp toast. And then anything is made French toast. Now that I remember the shrimp toast, I really got to give Lovely Love the first round because I think that was very creative. Um, That was very creative to use the, the to mess up the shrimp um, and put it on the garlic bread toast. I do think it was very oily. Because I think it take it takes more tech, like that's a technical thing, right? The only thing that would throw me off is the ranch inside the pico. That would throw me off. Cause like what? What is that? What is that? Um. And the thing is, to her French toast, if I have to be honest, it was very pretty, but it did look to be soft. It did look to be soft. I don't think her heat was high enough when she placed it on the um, iron. Um, Um, she had a, um, a cast iron. She had like a blackstone. Um, the second round was, uh, <laughs> um, it would have been hard for me to decide who would have been eliminated out of LG and uppity because LG technically it was sloppy. It wasn't good. And then she didn't play it. As then, um, uppity just technically it just wasn't appealing. Honestly, um, so it would have been hard for me to choose. It would have been hard for me to choose out of them two. Um, but then LG really redeems herself in the second round. I feel like the second round definitely goes to LG. Um, it just it just looked amazing. Honestly, it looked amazing. Um, uh, I didn't like the custard that Lovely Love made. I don't know. It's like, pasta. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm not cultured enough to understand it, but it's just, I don't, in the second round, I wouldn't have went for Lovely Love. And honestly, the plating of And The Thing Is didn't make it look good. I think she should have had it on the side and we should have seen her plate it because we didn't get to see the texture of the biscuit. So her just like pouring it over it, it just didn't appeal well with the lighting. Now, me and chat rep is going to have a competition. And in the competition that me and chat rep are going to have, I'm going to actually place it on top of the, I'm going, I, I bought me like the overhead thing. So when I cook, you can see directly into my pot. Because I got some a trick up my sleeve when we go do our lasagna challenge. Um, I do think the lighting plays a big role in it. Like you need good lighting. Um, yes, Jessica. I, so the second round goes to LG, 
And then I'm not even a peach cobbler girl, but the way Lovely Love plated it, it was pretty. So I would have took a bite out of Lovely Love's. So that's my critiques of it. Um, I don't know. I feel like people are being overly critical of anything is. I think they are. Like, and some of the comments that she's getting is not even based upon the food. It's like, it's like, damn, like, what did she do to you? Like, I don't know. Like, it's like some of it seeming very personal. I don't get it. I don't understand it. But overall, like. I don't have no qualms about anything that people are saying. Like, I'm listening to it, and it's like, sometimes it's hard to not be defensive, because, like, some of the stuff that people are saying is just like, oh, you're nitpicking. You're nitpicking. That's that's how I feel about it. <laughs> Like, y'all want to nitpick, cool. But mm, other than that, it was a good time. Um, I'm going to drop the link, you know, just in case anybody wants to come and have a conversation with me about the challenge. Um, but other than that, it was a good time. I can't wait to plan the next one. Um, uppity, no, ODS is having a taco challenge later on this month. Pizarro says she's not doing a challenge. I don't know why Pizarro feels that way. I don't know what happened. Maybe she'll explain it. Maybe she won't. I don't know. Y'all know she be throwing hissy fits. Um, yeah. So. Um, but if y'all don't come, then yeah. I mean, I really don't. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. The most the most comments that I'm hearing is about the money. Like, that's that's really all I'm hearing is everything is about the money, 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 money. Who they feel shouldn't have won. Why the second place gets so less. And da, 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 da. I don't know when I'm, that would be amazing. I had one last week when folks told me I wasn't being fair, being in every challenge. But Purple Peach, my thing is, why is it not that, why, why you can't be in the challenge? And I told you that myself. I was like, I don't understand. Like, are they coming in the challenges? Like, people saying that you shouldn't be in the challenge because what? Why you can't be in the challenge? Thanks, JoJo Jensen. Oh, okay, what? Well. Before doing it, is your house, make sure your lighting is bright. Yes, I bought me... What did I buy? I don't think I should tell y'all, but I'm going to tell y'all because, yeah. So I just bought it today because I was thinking like, yeah, I do need to get an overhead camera. So this the one I got. Because I feel like you could put your camera on it and then you could just boom. Now, I am going to also get like a ring light as well. Because I feel like that's what we need. Okay. I'll put it in chat. Thank you. Okay, I just posted it. And then um, I want to address this old, I felt like the judges should have got a cut. I feel like the judges should have got a cut. Well, nobody cashed at me and said, get it to your judges. I was not going to take people money and then do something different with it because then it would have been like, oh, you, you, you switched it up. Oh, you took people money. It's people saying that I scam for uppity. Like, <laughs> people are literally coming up with all these different scenarios. So it's like, it's literally like you really can't win for losing. You really cannot win for losing, child. Chat rep says she want to have a conversation with me. I don't know where chat rep at. But I know I'm not going to dwell on this. 
It was amazing. I had a good time. I can't wait to do it again. That's all I got to say. That was very, that was very harsh on Uppy. Like, another thing, people say they buy stuff and it never be a sticker on it. Yes, yeah, sometimes a sticker on it. You could get something and the sticker be on the bottom of the cup. Sometimes it is hard to get the sticker off. Sometimes it is. I mean, it is what it is. Oh, hold on. Let me see.
hold tight. She's coming. I just wanted to get up here. Shafi, come back up. Y'all make sure y'all hit the like button, please, and share the stream out. If you haven't seen the competition from last night, hit that replay. It's definitely worth the watch. Cool Storm, I agree with you because I asked Lady Nika in this live earlier before even the traffic started. When was she going live or today or tomorrow because I didn't want to rush her or anything. And she straight ignored me, child. Uppity, can you come up for a moment if you have a chance? Um, Spam, I put cabbage on them to soak up and absorb the, the milk, the lactation. Thank you. Hey, YouTube cameras. Hey, everybody. Bree will be right with y'all. She is handling some stuff on the call, so I thought I'd come in and keep y'all entertained. I'm getting behind in the comments, y'all. Hold on. Taco Challenge marks the 23rd at 3 p.m. It will be on my Mukbang channel because I need to get those watch hours over there. Um, I need contestants. As far as judges, I'm still considering how I want to do judging because I like to make sure I feel comfortable and that it's fair. So I'll get back to y'all on that. I'm recording a video tonight with more details. How we both on mute? Thank you for saving me. <laughs> All right, boo. All right, boo. I'm jumping back down. Jump back down. All right. Um, sorry, y'all. <laughs> I'm supposed to be off, and they want to bother me. Hey, sister T, how are you? Let me see what I miss. Um, does anyone know why? I don't know why Pizarro is pissed off. Um. I hope I can find a way to be in a taco challenge. You can find a way. Do what I just um get with um get with um I know purple peach. That's the thing about being salary is like girl, girl, pay me for my time. Pay me for my time. Ugh. I kind of miss being hourly, like I can log off and it's like you can't bother me. Now it's like Girl, oh, uh, D Spot, drop the link for your mukbang channel. Um, amazed me, but my soul guard was right on time. Are y'all saying Negro spirituals? What's going on? Um, so I gotta leave here at like five fifteen to go pick up my godson. Then I'm gonna go get something to eat, and I'm gonna come back and do my work and do some more work. Okay. Um, because I really want to leave, but I was like, I really need to go in, I need to go in overdrive. I need to go hard. She don't always get upset when I have my challenges. Um, 
was she upset last time or did she drag the judges last time? I think she drug the judges last time. But I tell y'all, I won a Ninja Air Fryer at work the other day. Yes. Um, I know that's right. I know that's right. Um, yeah. But I think everybody need to get them um them what you call it overhead things that I'm finna get in a ring light and we'll be good and we'll be good and we'll be good. Uh, so overall, pot wise, listen. ODS, I don't even think of the way ODS was thinking when he talk about the uh, um. He was talking about how, how, he, how he had the biggest pot, and then I basically blew him out the water, and I blew Ness out the water. Look at God. And then it's so funny how all y'all bust out crying. Lovely Love was crying. Uh, uh, and the thing is, was crying. Lady Law was crying. Lady Law is such a water bug. Like, all she want to do is cry. Oh, shit. I didn't even see you back there. <laughs> Did you scare me? Hey. No, I don't. Maybe I'll just have a... Should I go back and come back up? Yeah. Let's go look at the window. I'm going to look at the window talk about some. No, I don't. Um, you had me over here. Why was that crazy? Yeah. Why was Bri, you read the message wrong? I feel we got cheated today out of our lunch live, so you need to come back later today. I'm not even on lunch. I'm not even on lunch. I'm off. Come on, camera. Okay, can you hear me? It sounds like I'm your mic. Huh? Like you got the sound real high. Oh, I do. I do. I do. Is this better? E yeah. No, it's not. All right. Let me let me come back on my computer. I'll, I'll be right back. Okay. I was coming, but ODS came in time. I had set aside, but if I can, I will come. My titties are up. They actually, I actually got on a bra today. Hey, Comprehensive Talks. She jumped on the panel seeing people on the chat said, uppity go uppity. Cause Pizarro can't rule. Why? Why uppity can't get rooted on? I don't understand that. I feel like people want to say that somebody else is biased towards uppity, but I feel like y'all are the ones that's biased towards her. That's really what it is. Like y'all want to project y'all feelings onto other people, and I feel like I'm very fair. What input do I give on my challenges? Like, be for real. Did I give input? I didn't say not one thing. I didn't say who I like, what I like, what I didn't like. I ain't say nothing. I don't think it's going to do it this time. It do it when it want to, y'all. It don't do it all the time. Hey, y'all, y'all. It don't, it don't always do it. It don't always do it. See? So... <laughs> You want a live later? Oh, I can't give you no live later. I'm literally about to um go in a minute to pick this little boy up. He did yesterday in a competition, and I don't think you saw it. No, I I probably didn't. I didn't. Um, I can't wait to take this hair out. I'm gonna be so cute. Uh, that's why I'm coming back because I want to do some extra work just to make sure everything is a um accounted for, accompanied for. So when I be out for them two days, well, the day and a half, because next week I go and I get my passport, I go apply for the passport. So I'm excited for that. Hey, Lady Law, I saw you was live, but I got to watch your live so I can get your commentary. Cause I know you, <laughs> I feel like your competition, I feel like, I feel like your raw and honest feelings Ugh, I can't wait to see it. Let me know when you leave and I'll let Carla know.
Spam, I could tell you something you should have had last year, but I don't think you're going to like the answer. Is this computer dead? You don't be rude. Okay. Can you hey. see me now? Yeah, I can see you and hear you. Yes. What's up? You're the one who oh. said you got to get you. Of course. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Well, it ain't an issue, you know. How about this? Let's talk about it. Let's uh be cool afterwards. How about that? Of course. Oh, you got notes? I do actually. Got a lot of notes. <laughs> <laughs> I got some notes, bitch. I actually do kind of want to talk to you um and, and informationally. Um, okay. If you don't mind. So at least uh, I thought about it, wrote it down. We can talk about it. Okay, let's let's hear this out. Let's hear this foolishness that you gotta say. I don't think it's foolishness. Um and I want you to call the foolishness, bitch, because I... Let me join in, because I know you said you wanted to talk to me, too. Not really, but, you know, I just, you know... Well, you said it, so... I said, Uppity shouldn't have gotten a dime. Okay. I said, uh, she was eliminated, and then when she was asked to come back, she said, fuck us, right? Compared to your... That's what you said, that she said to us, right? She didn't say that. So what did she say? She didn't want to come back or what was her exact words? The fact that she didn't come back, it gave fuck us. I mean, fuck the competition, basically. But that's how I felt. She but said, I she know said, said up you come back. She said, no, thanks. That was respectful, but it still was a fuck the challenge. Response. Right. Let's so right. um, so yeah, basically, but respectfully, respectfully, you would have said the same thing. Keep going. Well, I would have came back probably. I would have came oh, back. Yeah. What were you talking about? No, you wouldn't. Why would not? Wow. I mean, I've been a contestant before, so ODS. And I you showed your ass every time, but keep going. So what? But I would have came back. That's the point. No, you wouldn't have. No, you wouldn't have. Keep going. What's your next You can't speak for me. You can speak for that nigga. You can't speak for me. You can speak, speak for me. Oh, not you. I was thinking about uppity. Oh, I, was like, oh. <laughs> I, I can speak for you. Up. You my twin. Keep going. Yeah, but no, I would have came back because that's the type no, of nigga that I am. <laughs> No, yeah, I would have. You know you what? Are, you know what? I really don't know. We actually that, 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 that's the same nigga who didn't want to even be here two days ago. Okay. She was trying to pull out. She was trying to pull out almost two weeks ago. Because of who? Well, she says because of me. I don't think the nigga. Oh, okay. Let's be clear. Okay. But if you, you ain't got, got no money, ain't got nothing that's to do with we me. can't say that it's wrong for me. It's because of you. But I would, it, well, hell, I've been here since the beginning. So now you just can't say niggas don't want to participate. I thought you had my back. So now a nigga don't want to be here I because have, of me. I, I said nothing but nice things about you. I know. Hey, but real quick. Uh, can you take your gown and wipe your screen? It's a little greasy. It's her internet. Her internet not good right I'm now. I'm sorry. What did you call me? <laughs> he removed himself. Yeah. yeah I feel yeah. like this is a judge's meeting. Like, but no, nah, he already fucked up the whole thing. <laughs> this, I feel like this is definitely a judge's meeting law. At this point, no, I don't even want to hear no, him. He can stay wherever the fuck he is. I don't even want to hear him. Yeah, law, we need you on the panel at this point, law. Well, law, lady, law can come up. ODS can't come up. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mr. Big Head, how ODS, are you? ODS, you can stay wherever the fuck you at. Fuck you, nigga. Anyway, I felt like when she said she didn't want to come back, excuse me. Thank you. Um, Sheffy, I apologize. I really don't want to hear. Um, I felt like that for for her right to even get any money. If she says she no thanks, that means no thanks to the money. Okay, we got to hurry up because I got to go in a minute. So. We ain't got to hurry up. We ain't got to hurry up. I, I have somewhere um, to go, said, so you got to hurry this up. Well, damn. Okay, well, nigga, well, fuck it. Should I just go out tomorrow when I uh, get my shit lifted? Come on. I want you to tell me your grievances because I'm not Okay, well, bitch, I got the whole page. You saw it. Um, you got a strike, Sheffy? Yeah, it's a YouTube strike. Uh, I'll tell you about that later. Uh, I felt like when she said no thanks, that forfeit the money. Um, okay. 
Excuse me, are you laughing now, ODS? Are you the call me? No, now? because it caught me. Are you just like, shut the fuck up? Thank you. Mm. Um, when she said, no thanks, that should forfeit the money. You said that like seven I feel like all that money should have went to LG. Let's be honest. Okay. Because okay. if you're gonna if you're gonna be in three rounds, I think that should that should equal more money. I'm just okay. saying. Keep going. Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, I said it wasn't just me. The chat also didn't want Uppity to have any money. So when you went over there and said to ODS that the only nigga who was inquiring about money was just uh Sheffy, that 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 didn't compute. I everybody, said judges. judges. No, I think you said everybody. Um, the judges. Nope. Lady Law didn't care about the money. ODS didn't care about the money. You was the only one who was really upset about where the money went. Not Keep really going. upset. Not really upset. Don't put 20 on 500. Anyway. Um, I feel... Well, okay, well then fuck it. I feel like you the only one who thought that Uppity should get money, though. How about that? Okay. Nobody I feel like she should have got at a minimum 50. Money. I felt like at a minimum she should have got 50. Okay, just to have something to cover the cost of her food. I felt fifty dollars would have been appropriate. Yeah. Okay. I wish we would have talked about it. I wish that would have been a judge decision, then not yours. Just you, damn, you just uh, cut us all out. You was just like, well, fuck, I don't give a fuck. Whoever give fuck. Wasn't I ask the judges their opinion about money though? I didn't ask y'all opinion about it's how. It's not just about, about the money. money. It's about our opinion as well. Huh? It's I asked y'all if we judge everything else, we should be judging about the money. I didn't ask y'all how I was gonna split my pot. I told y'all how I was gonna split my pot. I was you in charge about of the pot. everything else. It was just I didn't ask y'all about the pot. Did I ask y'all about the pot? I think that's when we come into the bias. Oh, yes, Lady Law, did I ever ask y'all about the pot? Lady Law, when you make sure to break when you won the 75%, did I ask anybody what percentage you should win, or did I say that you was getting 75? We had a whole extra thousand dollars. So we need to start asking more people. But we no no. Then hold on. Can we clear up the fact <laughs> people keep saying it was a it was a two thousand dollar pot in the beginning? It won't. That came from that was growth that happened immediately during the process. So no, nope, everybody's expectations. They're saying like can pan, can this shouldn't have won and can this shouldn't have won. We were still doing a thirty dollar thing. It was just with a million dollar budget. I mean, with a million dollar prize. Like the prize got out of hand. Now, maybe for future references, Brie, and I can't tell you how to spend no money on this. Is my suggestion as a content creator, if um, if it was that small scale of a thing, keep that pot of debt and just say, hey, Kimmy, can I take this next thousand and start this towards the next challenge or split it into two next challenges or something? It's uh, still your money and you can ask questions. Been, I don't feel like that would have been fair. I don't well, feel like at least we're talking about it now. We can consider yeah. that for future, future I don't feel things. Like take you don't feel shit. She said she wanted that money to go towards the winner. That's what she said. So I had to honor her wishes. I don't understand what what's the discussion. That the well, I'm giving you some money, and that nigga was on. That nigga said, "Okay, hey, listen, I'll you, got, you that literally that got that's fifteen fine. minutes. You got fifteen more minutes. If you're gonna spend Go your fifteen minutes arguing about uppity, I'm girl. not just arguing about uppity. She lost. What you about? She lost. Okay. Anyway. Uh, I said that I was voted on um, a bad oven and um, a spoon being dropped by uh, Lady Nika. So uh, you said that we shouldn't be talking about um, the dishes and shit like I being unsanitary. That. I didn't say that. Let me let me say this one more time so you can hear. What okay. I said what I said was mm -hmm. you had to choose between the sticker being on the plate and a person putting food on at the last minute. So that was the right. that was the discussion. Either way, based upon the way that the food looked, them two would have been in the bottom two. That round. That's what I said. I don't know what else you want me to say I think, to that. I just think that you bias, nigga. I, I just hate that. <laughs> I feel like I can't win but lose. Like, I think you want I me to say that. that at, at, no, 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 no. Yes, no. that's what you want me no, to say. No, you no, really no, want me I to think say that I think you bias as fuck. I think that's what How? That Maybe nigga shouldn't have got no fucking money. You you mean? Fuck us. To go with chat rep though, okay, so I, I do agree. One side of me was saying she didn't deserve anything because she was a sourpuss and she didn't show back up. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? When people in the chat room, a lot of people in the chat room, because you know, they definitely voiced their opinion and they voted for her to come back. Mm -hmm. So, you know, she shitted on that. So that side of me said, no, don't give her anything. Then mm -hmm. there's the other side of me because I see both sides and it's like, that's a nice gesture. You know what I'm saying? Even the loser gets something. 
She's definitely the loser. I can see if we was talking about. <laughs> but wait, let me respond. Okay. I can see if we was talk about giving her two hundred dollars out of a two thousand dollar pot. She got a hundred dollars. And LG the only reason, got one fifty. Okay, she, she, she shouldn't. She she wasn't gonna get shit. Well, she yeah, wasn't gonna get hell, Uppity was definitely not gonna get shit. Oh, but okay, so she got I see both sides. I, don't really I see both sides. So she shouldn't have gotten shit. It doesn't matter. She I got bet something. You, I bet you if it was another nigga, that that nigga would have got they would have got something. They would have got something. Wanna know why? You wanna know why? Because I already explained it. What I said was, let's be clear. What mm -hmm. I said was if Uppity didn't come, my vision wouldn't have been able to be seen for. If she didn't come, this she literally put, she come. Literally put aside her differences of wanting to work with you for me. No, the fuck she didn't, bro. She yes. didn't. But she as Chat Rap just said, she was the cause also. So you can't say she's the reason yes, she I was can. the cause. Yes, I can because Chat Rap and her both be here. Her behavior right now is the reason why she didn't want to come in the first place. Oh, okay. but well, then she shouldn't have. But no she literally came because place. she because she wants to support me. No, 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 nigga. That's not what happened. So you said that's because she happened. pushed herself, you know, look past the fact that Chad was saying the is, if LG would have been eliminated first, whoever would have been eliminated know. first, whoever would have came in the fourth round would have got the $100, period. No matter who it was. But that nigga didn't even nobody was supposed though. to get shit. It was really going to be first and second. Okay, well, well then it could have just been first, second, and third because that, that fourth nigga really It doesn't didn't matter. Him. It doesn't matter. Is is this what you want to argue with me about for nine minutes? I mean, I know the motherfucker already got the fucking money, but I'm just So what is your next issue? Well, nigga, I can still... Nigga, this shit just happened yesterday. I can still... You I said you got a whole... You said you got a whole phase right That nigga really didn't need to get no fucking money about no... Okay, what is your other no? What is your uh, other no? Is that your biggest grievance? Is that all you got to say is about the money? I don't have Jamie blocked on me. Yeah, uh, uh, just... Tell a comment on your wall. Comment on Bree's wall. What is the other thing that you got to say? What's the other reason? What Why we always got to go to the next week? I don't think we're done with the first reason. Because you only got eight minutes. You want me to come back? What's to going on about eight this? fucking minutes? What's going on? You fun you I have to get my God, son. I done said this 10 times. Oh, okay. Well, Jamie's not blocked. Do you want me to come back so we can argue about this tomorrow? Yes. <laughs> she came over to my live and said she was coming over here to you. She, and she told me she had some shit for me too. That's why. But Bree, yeah, y'all need to settle this. Okay. So okay. So I'll come back as soon as. How I long is the pickup for um for God's son? It'll literally take me like an hour. Oh. I gotta go cross town and come back. Okay. So we having another uh. We gonna have another <laughs> judge. It's literally gonna say judges too. Part two. <laughs> And if that, man, you know what? Yeah, let's go with that. Come on, yeah, you know what? I, I got. What's something. tonight? I gotta make sure. What come on TV tonight? Hold on, let me. It's oh, Monday. Did you see Mary to Madison yesterday. I did. I did. So Sheffy, you can't well, go live for another right day. Now. Just one more day, child. Just one more day. You kept that on the low, low. What happened? What she? What she doing? She won't tell us that she ain't tell us that she had a strike. Well, it was a YouTube strike, but it was about the Queen eighty eight and the. Uh, Mm. And the oh, other girl fight out that out situation, Isha. Mm -hmm. That one. Why you keep saying it's a YouTube strike? They all YouTube strikes, baby. You so you got a strike. She got a community guideline strike. Damn shit. What was the reasoning? What did it say? Uh, 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 I don't okay, so listen, I scheduled it for seven o'clock. So, but it probably won't take me till seven because I got to get some eat because you finna get on my fucking nerves and I'm not finna argue with you on an empty stomach. I right, so okay. so. Bitch, you be motherfucking ready because I'm gonna take you to motherfucking tag. And I'm gonna drag you, bitch, because I really and do I'm feel like I'm gonna, gonna, I'm gonna drag, knows, drag you, bitch. I'm gonna drag you, bitch. I'm gonna drag you, bitch. I'm gonna drag you by that motherfucking ponytail, bitch. I think you biased as fuck. You want you want to drag you and drag me, but you want to drag the bitch. Y'all really look like twins right now. And I'm gonna drag you on Shepherd. You obsessed. You obsessed. Did she say thank you? Yes, Why she both y'all off center? What's going on here? Like, yes. Okay. She said, Jeffy, when you come you back, can you have those you those about? dogs on a leash? How many? Dogs now let me go so I can go pick up my fucking baby. Bye. Okay. All oh, right. yes. <laughs> I knew you had kids. 